Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> They're all coming for me! <laughs> Back off! Back off! Alright, what's up boys and girls, it's Hi Doms alone. welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended on the Arcanart server. Now straight off the bat, I know what you might be thinking, why on earth has Hector got his hat on? Well, I have been super busy off camera and been doing little things in between here and there and I did something which was long overdue. Finally, Hector has his red mohawk back for Ark Survival Ascended. How fresh does this trim look? Look at it. The fade is on that. <laughs> so we are now at the point in our adventure where we really need to begin making the fancy electronics and big machines. However, we are struggling on a certain resource at the moment, which is polymer. However, there is a quick and efficient way of getting this resource with either a super weapon or a super team. And today we are gonna go out and try and get that team which is none other than the Pelagornis. Also last episode, we teamed ourselves up our stone gatherer in the Dodicarus, and we actually got a name suggestion for the Rolly Boy. So big up to Bokik7 for the name, and sorry if I butchered yours. <laughs> Good name, I like it, I'm pretty sure it's from an anime i could be wrong correct me if i'm wrong but i like it i dig it now what else have i been doing well i tamed an iguanodon uh, it was a 150 it was just like chilling not far from here so i threw it in the taming pen and got it tamed up we'll end up using it and i also have a hole in the side of the base because this is what is going to be the episode after this one okay we're going to be putting an extension on because i want an extension uh, but we need polymer because polymer is the big problem that we have at the moment if we're going to metal i've got tons of crystal i'm foreshadowing a lot of stuff here i've been getting a ton of metal and as well as cementing paste i've been super busy off camera okay I've been super busy that's probably why this episode is taking so long to come out but organic polymer or just polymer in general is a big big struggle because the mountain with the most obsidian on it is kind of far away uh, and it's rather dangerous but I want something that's going to be long lasting so I feel like a Pelagornis is going to be good today another thing that I did do is I crafted up our first fabricator Bosch and I also have two air conditioners which you know we ain't going to be using but I did get them out of a drop uh okay we are gonna place the fabricator in here if it lets me we're just gonna have that there lovely stuff we have our first fabricator it's taken 12 episodes it's pretty crazy but we've got the fabricator nonetheless we're gonna end up using it at some point today well probably not today in the next episode but i've built it anyway it's here let's go now we do actually run into a problem when it comes to taming a pelagornis because it is a piscivore which means it only eats fish meat we could tame it with kibble but we don't have the kibble uh, we've got some superior kibble, which Complex gifted me quite some time ago that's just sat here. So we could use that. Hmm. I feel like we should save that for something a bit more important than the Pelagornis. But yeah, we do have a way of trying to make this a little bit easier, okay? If we go into the spare tools chest, we can grab a sickle. Sickle is good for collecting fish meat, okay? It's an unsung song, I tell you. So we're going to grab that. We're going to need some bowlers as well. Do we have any? Now, we're going to have to make up some bowlers as well, because he can bowl a Pelagornis, I think. It'd be pretty embarrassing if we couldn't do it, hey? <laughs> there we go. Five bowlers are made up. We just need to grab some meat, and then we need to actually go and find a Pelagornis. Uh, we're probably going to need some narcotics if we do end up taming this guy with fish, if we can't get any prime fish, that is. So we're going to take a couple of those. Uh, what else? We're going to need some of these okay hear me out rare flowers these could be very important for this team and i'll show you why when we get to wherever we find the pelagornis at that is right let's uh let's go and get an ace and let's go and have a look let's go and have a look now if you all remember in episode five when we teamed up trigger down here there was actually a lot of pelagornis around here so i'm hoping that this is going to be a quick and easy find it's just they do tend to sit on top of the water, so that could be a big problem when we try and tame this thing. It doesn't actually look like any are here. Ooh, that's not good. That is not good. Doesn't look like there's any here at all. Oh, there's level 20. I kind of want one a bit higher level than that so it can carry more polymer. 20 kind of sucks. 
And the sword. Don't know why. We're going to take you, dude. What level are you? 75 isn't bad. But I definitely feel like we can go for a higher one. Okay, we've got a couple now. A 90, that's pretty good. A 5, which is terrible. Hmm. 90 isn't bad. 90 isn't bad. Oh, we, oh there we go. We, we found the influx. They're all here, look. Problem is, they're all out in the water. 45, that's not great. 60. What are you, dude? Hey. What level are you? 45 also. Okay, so level 9 is the highest. Hmm. Should we go elsewhere and try and find a higher one? I don't feel like 90 is bad. And it's bright red. We love red. Obviously we love red. I feel like we should go for this 90. Now, okay. This is why we brought the rare flowers. Obviously, it's out in the water. Okay? There's a big problem. We knock him out, it's gonna drown. He can swim on the water, but can't <laughs> can't swim in the water. So, we need to try and get his attention. We could do a kill in the level 5. Ain't gonna be able to hit this, am I? Nope. <laughs> right, okay. We need to get his attention. Okay, okay, he's here. He's here. He's here. Okay. Right. We probably should get rare flowers on the bar. I'm gonna get this loaded up. Now we're gonna use the rare flowers to get his attention. Because rare flowers peeve animals off, okay? Big time. He's gonna be fuming in a minute. So, right. Let's get the bowler on the ready. Oh, wait, we might not even have to use the rare flower. Oh no. She's gonna sit in here, ain't she? Okay, here she comes. Oh god. Oh god, here she comes. Here she comes. Oh god, they're all coming. Right, okay, we got it. Okay, let's get her knocked out. That was a little bit messy. Oh, it worked. One shot. What level are you? Are you the level five? You can go to sleep. But we did it. Level 90. So the rare flower worked. It was probably a little bit more chaotic than it needed to be. Now we just need to try and get some fish. I'm hoping that there's going to be quite a bit around here. Ah. Probably not. Well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> that's... That's not cool. Hmm. Okay, well, we need to go and find some fish. Wait, where'd that level 5 go? Where is it? It picked me a second ago. Is it woke up already? Where'd it go? Oh, it's... <laughs> couldn't see it. Right, you. I'm going to eat you. Because I don't need you. Ace needs feeding. Right, let's go find some fish meat. Hopefully, she should be good there. There's nothing bad around here. Oh, another one spawned in. Watch that one be a high level. Oh, no, it's not. We're good. Right, is there any fish here? No, oh, there's nothing really. There's only coals. I was kind of hoping for salmons. I was really hoping for salmons. Right, let's go ahead and grab the sickle. Two? What? Might have to attract a shark up here and kill that. Oh my god. Two, really? Two is not good. Nor is five. Well, I don't like this at all. Might have to go on a little adventure and go and see if there's some salmon. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Right, I could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure that there is salmon in this lake here, just on the other side of where the Pelagornis is down. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. And we could just end up coming over here for the sake of it. Another 150. There's a lot of 150 spawning in nowadays. Well, let's go and have a look. We got any salmons? Oh, damn it, man. I can't see a thing. Ow! Stop. I said stop. Hey! Stop! God damn it. Well, these might give me some fish meat. I wanted salmons because salmons would give us prime fish. It doesn't actually look like there's any in here at all, which kind of sucks. What are you? You're a coal? You're all right if I could see under the water. Hey, you keep stealing all my fish. Stop. Hmm, why is there no saber-tooth salmons? 
There's normally some in this lake. I really don't want to have to do this thing with just normal fish meat, but it kind of looks like I'm going to have to. Unless we go on like a really dangerous expedition, try and kill a megalodon. <laughs> I don't really have anything that we can kill a megalodon with. Well, that's mildly disappointing. I've definitely got enough fish meat now to tame this thing with. However, I kind of wanted to show you that you could use the sickle to get prime fish meat. But there's no saber-toothed salmons anywhere. There's normally some in this bit of the river. I don't understand. Maybe they all just left. Maybe they've all gone on to bigger, better things. I was just too late to the party. Oh, is that one? We found one. I just wasn't going far enough. Oh, God damn it. Come on, then. Get out of it. At least I'll be able to show you now. I found a salmon. Where's that piranha gone? You know, it's coming. Come on, then. I'm sure that just no wrecked. Sounded like it, didn't it? Oh, my God. Where did you come from? There we go. That's all the piranhas dealt with. Right. Go away. Oh, that's a big salmon. That's a big salmon. He might be able to give us some good prime fish. That no regged. Okay, that killed him. That means the rest won't attack if it one shot him. Best. Right, prime fish meat, please. There we go. Two prime fish meat. Best. Where did we kill the other one? He's here, look. Look at that. Prime fish? No, none from that one. Right, let's get this one. Nice. There we go. It's say I'm scared of water. I'm doing pretty well here. What? No prime fish? Baby salmon? Prime fish? One. Okay. I'm not sure how many we need, but that's pretty good. Three's not bad. I think I'm going to dodo an exit before we go back to the Pelagonis. Okay, we actually need three more. Hmm. Well, I'll grab that. But now you know. If you need some prime fish meat or you need a little bit of prime meat that's quite easy. You've got a sickle. Just jump in the water. Oh, God! Shoot some salmons and avoid these. Right, okay. We're back at the Pelagonis, who is almost awake. Oh, dear. Let's give you some of these. We didn't actually manage to find any more of the saber tooth salmon, so we're just going to have to go with that for now. Yeah, we'll have to sit and wait for the rest of it, unless any more spawn in around here, but I doubt it. But that's gone up quite a lot. It's still going up pretty fast. I like that. I like it. Yeah, we can sit and wait on that. I'm not too bothered about the level not being completely perfect. If I wanted that, then I would have gone for a high level. I think it's actually going to tame. Oh, it would stop. Really? You stop on 97%? God damn it. Oh, I'm taking these out. You don't need these. But lovely stuff. Pelagornis tame. Easy. Bowler, rare flower, one dart to the head. Easy. And make sure you bring a sickle. This is the best, best taming method for a Pelagornis ever, I think. We do also have two levels because, I, like I mentioned, I've been super busy off camera. And I'm going to bang them both into help. And we are now... Level 70. What can you get at 70? An elevator. Kind of sucks. I don't think I'm ever going to use an elevator in this game. Maybe. Maybe we could. We'll see. Yeah! Pelagorn is tamed up! Look at you in all your glory. He you looks so dirty. Look at his eyes. <laughs> but Pelagorn is tame. Lovely stuff. Right, let's get you back to base. And then let's have a look see if we have a saddle. Because I'm pretty sure that I do have a saddle. Could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure that we have one. But let's get back to base. Lovely stuff. Pelagorn is good start to the episode. Right, stop there, Mrs. Pelagorn. Let's just go and have a look, see if we have a saddle for you. Let's have a look. We do. Pelagornis saddle. Best. Look at that. That was super easy. 
Where are you? You're here. I haven't seen one of these for so, so, so long. But Pelagonis, look at this. It's amazing. I mean, it's not. It's pretty underwhelming, but it looks cool. Kind of. <laughs> it's super slow at flying. This is one of the creatures that really needed some form of TLC to it. Like, big sign. <laughs> Feel a bit bad for it. <laughs> but we did it. Pelagorn is saying, right, now we actually need to go and get the fur gear. Empty out our inventory because we're super heavy for this dude. And then we need, to go and, we need to go and show you what we actually need to use this guy for. Right, now we need to grab the fur gear just like that. Is that all of it? That's all of it. All the stuff. And we'll go and chuck all of this in here because we ain't going to need it. Now we actually need to venture up to the snow biome with our new Pelagonis. Wait, can I dismiss this thing that keeps coming up? Get out of here. Ooh, I did actually also forget something else. Let's go and grab them. Let's go and grab them. Now, if I am correct, we should... Oh, no, we don't. I thought we already have one of these pre-built, but it might actually be in the bookshelf. It is, look, an Ascendant Wooden Club. Let's go ahead and get this thing made up, because it could be better than the Pelagonis, and we could have just wasted a whole lot of time. But I don't think that we have. I don't know. Maybe. We probably have. Let's have a look. Let's get that crafted up. Jobs are good in. You can actually use the Wooden Club as well to gather organic polymer from penguins. So we're going to give them both a try. This is just going to be like a little comparison and see which one's better. Now, how much weight do you have? Oh, God, it's not good. It's not good at all. We're probably just going to upgrade weight on this guy, I think. Right, now we need to go to the snow biome. Let's go. A little bit scary just going on this guy, but... Hmm. Might be all right, because can't, she can't really fend for herself. I'm not going to lie to you. She can't really fend for herself at all, actually. She's only here to kill penguins. <laughs> Is there any ducks on the water? Did I harvest that one that I killed earlier? I don't think I did. I didn't. It's still here. There we go. Three polymers, is that it? We're going to have to try and get better than that. Hello, Pelagonis friend. Oh, you're a 140. Really? I don't even care. I prefer the red one. You suck, Mr. 140. Still, I'm kind of jealous. I'm not happy about that. That one's just there chilling. We'll come back for you one day. Also, if you have any cool names for our new Pelagonis friend, then drop it in the comments. You know, we'll uh, we'll get her named up next episode. She's just going to be called Pelagonis today. Or we can call her Polly, because she gathers polymer. I don't know. You guys think of better names than me anyway, so drop them in the comments if you've got a good name suggestion for a new red friend. But it's taken ages to get up here, I'm not going to lie, the stamina's horrendous. <laughs> uh, I do wonder, can you get stamina away on the water? I don't think that you can. No, you can't. Oh yeah, you can. Oh, you can get stamina on the water. Well, that's cool, I actually didn't know that. Well, you can get stamina on the water. However, Megalodons will attack you if you sat on top of the water. <laughs> I'll point that out. Finally, we are up in the snow biome. That's took a ridiculous amount of time to get here. We now just need to try and find some little penguins. We're going to feel bad about doing it, but, you know, needs must and all that. Needs must. Are there any penguins? They're normally littered all over here. There's some over here. Look. Oh, look at all the penguins. There's quite a few. Quite a few. Lovely stuff. This is how we're going to get easy polymer, boys. I just really hope that this guy is going to be efficient enough to do this. It might even be easier killing these penguins with the crossbow. Possibly. And then harvesting it with the pelagonis. Let's give it a go. Right. There we go. Now, they're not all going to run away if they get one shot. So this is going well. Lovely stuff. Well, it's not. This is this is brutal. This is pretty horrible, actually. There we go. But now they're not all going to run away. Right, now let's try and see which one's better. Pelagornis. What are we getting? 
Two polymer? Is that it? That is not good. That was from a fully raised up penguin. All right, let's try the Ascendant Club. Uh, God damn it. You are useless, Pelagonis. You are useless. Oh my, well, I don't know. It's kind of different, isn't it? I'd say they're both just as efficient as each other, really. All right, Pelagonis. It's a lot easier. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, 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 okay. That was a lot better than the club. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Whoa. That is a lot of polymer. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I stand corrected. Killing the babies and harvesting them for organic polymer with the Pelagonis is much better. Much better. Wow, okay, so the Pelagonis was definitely worth getting, but look at all that polymer. And look at all these penguins. Look at them all. I can hear them all screaming because they know what's coming. You're a 135. I'm probably not going to want it, you. Oh, they all make such innocent noises now. And now I have to come and do this. What level are you, dude? 130? Oh, God. They're all going to run away. Wait, are you trying to peck me? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> They're all coming for me. Back off. Back off. Oh, my God. They're all actually trying to fight me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop. Oh, my God. It dodged it. What the? Stop. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Back up. Back up. I don't want to hurt you, but I've got to. You're just chilling, you. All right, where's the 135? Okay, he's just stopped. He's just stopped. Stop. Okay, now you're coming. Can we imprint you? No. There we go. That was uh, a little bit savage. Also, the music that you might be hearing is Raptor Claws. Raptor Claws is on. The Winter Wonderland stuff is on that I'll show you. But that'll come, uh, that'll come in a later episode. But look at all this polymer that we're going to get. Get it, Polly. I feel like we should call the Pelagornis Polly now as well. Oh, my Lord. Look at the polymer. Oh, yes. Next episode is going to be super easy now we have this. Look at this. Look at the polymer. This is it's like cheat code. Look at it. Oh, my Lord. Look at the polymer. That is insane. Look at all this. That's amazing. Yes. She's coming clutch. She's coming clutch. That was amazing. Look at all these penguins spawning in. Nice. Okay. I'm probably going to have to do more of the evil thing and keep killing all these little penguins. But it gets good polymer. This is the best tame for polymer ever. 100%. Well, there we have it. That is the best way to actually get polymer in this game. I never knew that Pelagornis were actually that good at collecting polymer. Like, it's kind of revolutionary, I'm not going to lie. It's uh, it's pretty insane. I'm pretty happy with how well that, that has gone. But that is going to make next episode so much easier. Trust me, that is amazing. We love that. With Pelagornis... Well, you were worth it. I thought the Ascendant Club was going to make it look silly. But Pelagornis... Best team ever. <laughs> we are back at the base and we are full of polymer. No thanks to our new Pelagornis friend. Smashing. Look how much we got. We got like over 200. And that was just from killing a few. And it doesn't weigh anything. That is magic. It literally weighs nothing. We got 400 polymer. That is crazy. Let's go ahead and throw all of that into here because I'm going to end up using it real soon because the next thing that we want to do is to make the refrigerators, okay? I'm just going to leave that with you, okay? It's a little bit of a teaser for the next episode and what we're going to be doing. But we did what we set out to do today. We have now tamed up an absolute magician when it comes to getting easy, easy polymer. 
But we did it! Amazing! Anyway, boys and girls, that is going to be it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure you drop this video a like, subscribe, and dig the notification bell to keep up with more Ark Survival Ascended shenanigans. Now that we have our new Pelagornis, we can gather Polymer with some serious ease for the duration of the series, and next episode just became a little easier because of it. Also, do not forget if you have any good name suggestions for the Pelagornis, then drop it in the comment section and we can get her named up. But that is all from me, our new Pelagornis, and a fabricator full of polymer. We'll see you next time.